Hey everybody, this is Quinn Johnson, aka Quinn Jitsu from the Toy Box community team. Now, I know many of you have been lying awake at night wondering, if I want to make a collectible game, do I need to logic connect every single collectible in the level? Well, good news, you don't. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new collectible tracker under Creative Toys. This tool is an incredibly convenient way to implement collecting games and missions in your toy box level. Let's go ahead and place one. I'm just going to go under my Creative Toys category, place my collectible tracker. And then you'll notice here that when I go into the properties with the magic wand or spark mode, that I can actually specify what kind of collectible I want this to uh, to work with. So let's say I only want to make it so uh, gold challenge orbs are what actually implement or cause it to cause it to make logic happen. So let's go ahead and, and connect this to a counter. We're going to say new logic connection collectible collected by player one, which is me. Then I'm going to connect it to this counter here and say. That when a collectible is co is collected, it's going to increment the counter by one. So you'll see here that when I do that, boom, there goes my score. It just went up by one. Now let's say that I want any collectible at all that I pick up to increment that score by one. Well, that's a really easy change. Go back into properties. So now instead of saying collectible type gold challenge orb, I'm just going to say any collectible at all will do it. So now you can see I can pick up a gold one going to make the score go up. I'm going to pick up a green one. It'll also make the score go up. Pretty darn cool. Um, so what this means is that you can use the collectible tracker instead of connecting the counter to every single collectible in your level. Very, very handy. You'll see too that under properties, when I'm specifying the different types of collectible, I can do all like I just mentioned, and, there's, and I can also choose any specific type of collectible that they have in the entire game. Very, very cool. All right, so what, uh, what if I want two different types of collectibles to each give me different uh, increments of points? All right, so let's say for the first counter, I only want the gold challenge or the counter by one point. So that's set up on that one. Then when I put down a second collectible tracker, I'm going to say I want kiln pieces to be the type of collectible that's picked up. All right there, kiln loot pieces, which are these cool looking little doodads here and I'm gonna say when these are collected by any that it's gonna make my counter go up to increment by three so here you'll see once again I pick up a gold one makes the score up, go up by one pick up a kiln piece it's gonna go up by three pretty cool okay so you also note here that I can even specify what kind of person can activate the logic that's attached to picking up a collectible that's attached to this uh, specified in this collectible tracker. You'll notice here when I go into my properties of my collectible tracker I've specified that I that I want it to be attached to these Dunbrock pastries which is my personal favorite new collectible in the game. Um, and what I'm gonna say is I go into the logic and I'm gonna say new logic connection collectible collected by. So see here I can say any I can say player and I can specify one, two, three, or four, so only the player that I specify will be able to fire off the logic attached to that collectible tracker. And I can even specify the team. You'll see right now that I'm on the purple team uh, because of my purpley glow, but we're going to say that only someone who's on the orange team can activate the logic that's attached. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my logic connection. I'm going to say when I pick up a pastry, when someone on the orange team picks up a pastry, the counter is going to increment by one. Okay. So right now I'm on the purple team, like I mentioned, and you'll see that when I pick up a pastry, it doesn't do anything at all because I'm on the wrong team. But if I go ahead and place an orange team indicator, I'm going to run over that and put myself on the orange team. So now I'm orange, and now when I pick up a pastry, there goes the score. It goes up by one. Pretty cool. Another really cool feature that you can do with the collectible tracker is I can say what happens when the final collectible on the level is collected. So I'm going to go into my logic, my collectible tracker, logic connection, and I'm going to say when the final collectible is collected, I'm going to attach to this action enforcer, and I'm going to say that I am going to bloat. And that's going to be, let's just say all, since I'm the only guy here. So now let's see what happens when I pick up the last three here. One, two, three. Oh, there I go, I just bloated. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Okay, there's another cool feature I'd like to show you with this collectible tracker. Let's just say here, when I pick up a collectible, 
and I'm on the orange team, so let's just go ahead and do that. When that happens, it's going to increment the counter by one. Okay, and then you'll notice here that I have five pastries on the level. So what I want to say is go to the counters properties. I'm going to say the target count is five. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go into the counters logic and say when the target, which is five, is reached, then we're going to reset all the collectibles. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to collect all five. One, two, three, four, five. Bam, turn around. All my collectibles have been reset. It's a really cool way to, to just start the game over really quickly. All right, one other cool feature I wanted to show you with the collectible tracker here. So let's just say that I want my target count for the counter to be five. So we're gonna go into properties. I'm gonna say target count five. And then you'll see that I've attached it so to the collectible tracker so that when the target of five is reached, then we're gonna remove all the collectibles in the level. And I attach that to the, to the uh, collectible tracker here. So now check this out. You know, so I have six pastries on here, but remember the target was five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice that that last one is removed. So all the remaining collectibles on the level have been removed because that's the way I specified with my logic. So there's tons and tons of super cool things you can do with the collectible tracker. Uh, it'll make your, your collecting games and missions uh, a lot more easy to put together with lots of awesome options. One thing I'd recommend uh, when dealing with collectibles is to make sure that your logic and your settings are the way you want them and all your collectibles are in place then to save your game. After you save your game, after that you can go through your game, make sure everything works, and then quit the level without saving it again. Basically, you don't want to start wrecking your game by going around and setting off logic and collecting collectibles, because that could really mess up the experience of the player who then plays your level later. Cool guys, uh, any questions or comments you have, just stick them in the comments, and uh, it's been fun. We'll talk to you soon.